Welcome to Breakfast with the Bishop. This is Bishop Gary, our final show out at beautiful Lake Haskell. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the lake and the, the park and, and getting a little bit of acquainted with some of the area where I've lived for 40 some years and uh, we, we love this part of the world. Oklahoma Century located, I could get across America, north, south, east, west at a halfway decent time. And we, uh, we've enjoyed it very much being here, my wife and I, uh, last Monday, I believe it was, I'm terrible for dates, I believe it was the 12th, uh, that might even be this Monday, uh, today, I'm not even sure. Happy anniversary, Grace, my wife of 41 years. Whatever day we were married, <laughs> I love you. And uh, forgive my age, I can't remember, but I know it's 41, I know it's August 12th, whatever that is. And you that get this program don't always get it on the date we send it. So um, it's okay, happy anniversary. Happy to all of you, your birthdays, your anniversaries, your cherished times. I want to read you a scripture in Psalms 81. Sing aloud unto God, our strength. Notice that, our God is our strength. My strength's not in my muscles, my finances, my education, my, my IQ, my, my wife, my friends. My strength is in the Lord. Sing aloud unto God our strength. Make a joyful noise unto the God of Jacob. You know how you keep your strength? You have a joyful noise. Hey! I'm being silly. But I'm joyful. And if I'm joyful, I am strong. Did you know that if you're thinking positive, there's no room for negative thinking? If you are smiling, there's no room to frown. It takes 48 muscles to frown, two to smile. So don't work so hard. Don't, don't, don't kill yourself. Smile, but sing aloud unto God our strength. Make a joyful noise unto the God of Jacob. Uh, over there in Nehemiah said, the joy of the Lord is your strength. And God says, be strong in the Lord, mighty in his name. So if you're strong, you've also got to be joyful. You've got to have the joy of the Lord. And then he says in verse 2, take a song or a song and bring it here. Bring the, the timbrel or the tambourine, the pleasant harp or the psaltery, any of these instruments. Blow up the trumpet in the new moon, in the time appointed of our solemn feast day. For this was a statute for Israel and a law for the God of Jacob. Now, it's not a law for us. But I don't know about you, but I want to praise the Lord. I want to sing. I want to see music. Uh, when we, uh, my, my brother-in-law plays a mean guitar. And, when it, and my sister's got several CDs that have been recorded and sent around the world. And uh, I, every now and then I get around here and she, Gail Hake is her name, Derek. And they, they sing some songs and all. It's good when you can sing to the Lord. It's good when you can sing for the Lord. And it's good when you can sing with the Lord and best when you can sing in the Lord. But it's all to Him. And it brings a joy. And it brings, and when joy comes, it brings a strength. And when strength comes, victory comes. See, there's a chain reaction here. And, and you, you, you realize that as you feel happy and as you get joyful, suddenly you start feeling strong again. The little engine that could say, he smiled. See if you get the. I, I got the animated, uh, illustrated animated version of that in a little book for my my sons many years ago. Can't find it anymore. But in in the cartoon that they draw, the the big trains are serious, trying to pull up that hill and muscular, and they're really menacing. And boy, they're just dead set. Their business, and they're going to do it, and they don't get it done. Now it's just a story but it's got a moral. And then the little engine, it shows him coming. He's a little red one, of course, with yellow trim and black. And he's got this smile on his face. And I always see him whistling a Disney song. Whistle while you work. <whistles> Corny, isn't it? Tells you how feeble my mind's getting. <laughs> but anyway, I see him there, and he's smiling, and he says to the toys and whatever all is left to go up the hill, he said, I think I can. Well, one thing, he's got strength because he's got joy. Anytime you got joy in your life, you got strength. I've kind of been harping on that the last few weeks because I've been ministering to a lot of people who are just without strength. Brother Gary, I'm just on my last nerve. 
stand on my last leg, down to my last dollar, down to my last prayer. If God don't do something, I'm gone. Well, uh, I've been there, and I sympathize, and I empathize, and I understand. But the scriptures offer us a way out, and that's the joy of the Lord. Put on the joy of the Lord. Get up in the morning and just thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Thank you, Lord, for making me whole. I'm never too deep, especially in the morning. But I always get up and, good morning, God. I don't get up and say, good God. It's morning. Good morning, God. Let's face the day. I know that I'm going to be tempted and tried in many ways. I know I won't have time to play, mostly be work in this new day. But thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Good morning, God. Let's face the day. And that, that's how you. I would like for you to approach that. As I close today, I want to pray for some. Some of you, uh, I know there's one out there. I don't know where you are. I, the Lord didn't show me. But you're, you're a male, and you're in your mid-40s, 44, 45. And uh, that broken heart and that frustration and that want to crush and smash something, uh, God wants to take that from you today. He wants to put some kind of a little song in your heart. He doesn't care if it's country music, old 70s rock, new rock, or new country, like a classical or a gospel song. I'd rather, I would rather it be gospel. But he wants to put a song in your heart. It can be a cartoon like mine, a little engine, you know. I don't care what it is, but God wants to put a song in your heart. I'm going to pray for you. Lord, touch this man right now and bring him forth. Crush the negative things. Place a song and a smile in his heart and set him free from that bondage. Bless him. Bless him. and Bless him again. In Jesus' name. Amen. Young lady with the high, high, high blood pressure and the real pains across here go see a doctor right now don't 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 wait and don't don't say i missed it that's not the point go see a doctor this is bishop gotta go love you next time I, next time you hear from me i'll be back from montreal give you a report pray for me god bless